All right, today I'm going to be working on the rear cinch. It's going to be a different setup than the front cinch. It's going to have a buckle and a some, uh, well, it's going to be different. It's going to be made, made completely out of leather. Those of you who ride know that already. Time to play with some clay. I got the camera right next to my head, so I'm going to probably be hitting it a couple of times while I do this. Found out a lot about cinching up a horse. And the one thing you didn't want to have is a real tight cinch in the front you wanted to make sure that before you cinched up the front of the horse that the hair of the horse was smooth underneath the uh, uh, cinch so that uh, it wasn't bent because that would make it uh, very uncomfortable for the horse and uh, the last thing you'd want on a long trail drive is an uncomfortable horse Okay, I'm going to cut that off there. I better do it with a different tool. Um, ah. There we go. Now, this modern day cinch, rear cinch, has a pocket that, uh, you know what, I'm going to redo that because that has a, belt, a buckle on both sides. I, didn't, I just realized that. So I've got to do it differently. All right, I've got to uh, measure out the rear it's not going to be this wide. I'm just measuring it out. It's going to be wider than I thought. But not quite as wide as I've got it right here. Okay. Where's my picture? I think I got this too wide, so I'm going to readjust it.
Okay, this rear cinch should be a lot looser. There'd be a little space between the belly and the strap. It's just basically to keep the saddle from going forward. But I've got to make it so they can cast it. matter getting it lined up with the uh, the rings And then there's a strap between there and the front one that would uh, keep them from getting too far apart. All right, there's a buckle back here that I've got to make. Okay, I'm just... Uh, Trying to adjust this buckle. Just lost my uh, buckle. All right, gonna have the buckle right down here. There'd be some holes in the uh, strap for the uh, buckle to attach itself, and I don't want to make them too thick, I mean deep, but I gotta have those holes, and I'm thinking The other buckle to do. All right, it's time to paint my saddle. I can finish it off and with layers of clay on the uh, paint, but for now, this is what I've got to do.
Okay, this paint goes on real light, but when it dries, it uh, starts looking more like the clay. Or at least that's my hope. <laughs> Gonna take a couple of coats of this paint to get it to <coughs> covered completely. Now this doesn't affect the molding or the casting process because no matter the material, it all comes out looking the same in bronze. The cowboy's going to cover up a lot of this stuff because he's going to be on the saddle. So I'm not too worried about everything, but I want to get it as close to the color of the clay as I can. Just to make it less confusing for myself as well as for anybody looking at it. So I'm going to probably call it quits here and I'll come back and finish painting this tomorrow after it's had a good time to dry. You can't rush these things and uh, then we'll see what we can do about uh, getting the cowboy ready to go on his, the saddle. I hope you all have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.